This is the historical city of Canterbury, home to 50,000 residents located within Kent in the southeast of England. Canterbury holds one of the largest relative student populations in the UK, with 45% of its residents in full-time education. In 2013, Kent County Council passed a bill to turn off 70,000 streetlights throughout the county of Kent in an attempt to save money. Oh, Saving Sensible is one the council do, isn't it? So their idea is that they turn off the lights um, at about midnight in certain areas. One o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning in certain areas. Um, and I don't understand how it's safe and sensible. Uh, supposedly it's environmentally friendly, I guess. Kent County Council needs to save money. Uh, with the uh, cutbacks in government expenditure, uh, local authorities have suffered greatly. The figures that they are now arguing that they've saved as a result of this year uh, they're arguing it's in the region, I think it's about £900,000, which was less than they predicted. Um, but as I say, the increase in lighting itself has gone up by so much that that £900,000 almost pales into insignificance. I'm not a, totally against the idea as a whole. I think it's what is crucially important is where you actually need the lights. Um, there's one area that I represent, for 20 years they hadn't had a single burglary. Since the street lights went out, the police have been called six times and there's been at least three burglaries. Now KCC will say you can't prove that's because of the street lights. But I would say that the statistics indicate there is a correlation. Um, yeah, we were sold a bit of a blind on this one. Um, the cabinet member said that the police had been consulted. What he didn't say was that when they'd been consulted, their advice was, don't do it. We contacted Kent Police in order to get a statement, but we only received an email declining our interview request. We also made attempts to contact KCC councillors who were in defence of the campaign. However, they denied our request as well. Well, I think the reason why they're doing it is fair enough, but it's not really... I don't understand how switching off the lights in a residential area at one o'clock in the morning with no other light source apart from on the main roads is supposed to be sensible, it's not really. Yeah, I think, I think that it's, it's a good idea but it's done in the wrong city. We don't live in a nine to five economy anymore. We don't live in a situation where everybody goes home at 11 o'clock after the pub's shut. Um, certain towns, certain areas, there is nightlife that goes on well beyond 11 o'clock. Um, we are living in a world where people do shift work so as people are setting off four o'clock in the morning, um, people probably arriving back home three, four o'clock in the morning. A lot of our housemate, um, Lois, um, does not feel comfortable at all. She's mentioned it at, uh, multiple times, how she walks home at like, uh, she, well, she finishes work at what time, about half two or something like that? She walks home and she feels completely out of her wits again mm. because everywhere's pitch black. She, she's quit her job and that was a minor factor. I have not had a huge wave of opposition to it, but here and there I have had people say, look, in our particular circumstances, um, it's not safe, or it would contribute to antisocial behaviour. Uh, you'd better ask the cabinet member concerned and the senior officers on that one. Um, I like to think that perhaps um, some of the 2% which they mention, I'm not sure about that, um, is because of action I've taken in Canterbury, um, which is to uh, listen to what people have to say. They asked 100%, well, 98 people who pay council tax and two people who are students. And then those two people who are students said no, and the 98 people who pay council tax said... Yeah, that, means, yeah. that literally means nothing, because they could have twisted that anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of local opposition to it, but because it's a, you know, a grand scheme that shows councils are doing something despite the recession, they're going ahead with it. Yeah, put the lights on. Um, Pretty much. It's tricky because I, it, we could say one side of Canterbury is a better place to do it than the other, but there are students all Everywhere. over the city. Yeah. Um, 
it being Canterbury City Council, I would recommend it being done instead of in the main city, in the smaller areas outside of the city. The LED lighting is a much better solution. They should have just cracked on with that and not made this rather tokenistic but dangerous gesture in the meantime. I, I hope that, um, I mean, clearly the powers that be, the executive, wants to keep the savings, but I, I hope that they will listen. If, for example, there was an outbreak of crime in a particular area, well, let's look at that again and, and get the lights back on. It's not even a temporary solution, yeah. it's a non-solution. It's a non-solution. Really.